Shada here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make yourselves a cool pitfall trap in Minecraft. This trap will pretty much kill anything that falls into it no matter how strong it is. So well, let's get right on with the tutorial. So the first step in your tutorial is to dig a 3x3x2 hole. Hmm. So this, no, this should should be what it looks like. Then what you're going to do is you're going to dig this hole and you're going to type in this, this, slash give at E, well actually at P, can, ignore that, sorry. Alright, now, now that you got yourself a command block, as you can see, we're not going to be using that anyway. So next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting ourselves some slabs because those are going to be very important. So you're just going to dig this out, put some slabs here. This this is not unnecessary. You don't have to do use slabs. You can use normal blocks if you want, but I recommend using slabs. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself some armor stands. Then you're going to get yourself any sword you want. I like I'm going to prefer iron. Then you're going to place armor stands facing inwards from all direction. All right, then you're gonna go hold shift and you're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Until you get into this position. They should be in that position and you're gonna do that for all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. One, two, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three. Sorry, this is not as easy as it looks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And okay, so now we go to this final one. Okay, I just broke that in cow. Get out of here. I don't want you here right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're going to do this one facing that way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then you're going to equip all these guys with your swords. I recommend using iron because iron looks the coolest to me. Well, you can use every one. So now count your swords to make sure that you have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If there's nine swords, that means that you're going to stop it. Now you're going to get yourself some pistons. Place two blocks up and place a piston facing downwards. Then place a piston above all these blocks, just like this. Once you have done this, break a hole so you can get out after. Then place slabs on each of these blocks. I recommend using these slabs because they look the best. Yes, they have to be slabs. And now get yourself a lever. Now place these levers and flip, and flip them. After this, you can just break these pistons because we don't need them anymore. Pick up your levers. Once you have this, you should be left with this slow cool thing right here. Now we're gonna be using our command block. You're gonna go down here and you're gonna go down and you're gonna dig two blocks and place your command block right here. And you set it to repeat, always active. Now I'm gonna type in this command. Effect at E tilde, I mean, no, it's bracket, type E equals this thing, armor stand. This will make it so it is not going to affect the armor stand. Dash R equals 4. This is making it so it will only affect anything in a, in a radius of 4, instant damage, and then that's the command. So if you know it's working, you should see this little particle effect around your player. Now, you're gonna do this. You're gonna put uh, do this with dirt, and you can decorate this however much you want. So I'm just gonna decorate it real quick with some stone. Actually, no, stone sucks. Some bricks. We're gonna break this, and we're gonna just gonna decorate this. So basically, you could add this on like the bottom of a pitfall trap or something, or you could just make a player drop into this, and this will kill the player most likely faster than they could get out. This will kill the player even if they are wearing good armor. 
So if I if I get myself some armor right here, netherite armor, and I'm gonna pause so I can enchant this with protection four. All right, I got myself the protection four armor. We're gonna put this on. I'm gonna type in the command. Uh, we're gonna type in this command slash game rule keep inventory true, and also we're gonna do this command slash game rule command block out put false this will this the, what this will do is um basically make it so those uh, annoying messages will not appear in your chat so the commands will still work they just won't show so now what you can do is you can go into survival i'm wearing full protection for netherite as you can see here protection for protection for protection for protection for so if i jump in here as you can see, it, whatever he's doing, one heart of damage, even with protection four. You do have time to escape, even if you do, as you can see. Let's get it, go back up to our trap, which is over here. This trap will work on any uh, on any mob, most likely, even even the new mob, the um, warden. The warden was added not too long ago, and it's a pretty good mob. It's a pretty good mob. So basically, if you if you don't like any mobs, you just drop them in. This will not work on any of dead mobs, obviously, because instant damage will heal them. So, but if you if you find a mob that you really don't like, in this case, I don't like maybe uh, pig ones because they're really annoying. I don't think they're considered as undead. So as you can see, you could just drop them in here, and they're going to die. And oh god, that was a baby. So this trap uh, will work um, on Java, Bedrock, and other versions. So, um, this is a very cool trap. I don't think, I actually don't think this will work on Java because Java is diff a lot different than MCPE and Bedrock. So, if you want to build this on Java, um, you might have to edit the command. And, yeah. This works on Bedrock and MCPE. So, if you want to build this in Bedrock, go ahead. This is very fun contraption and it works. So, so yeah. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.